Lorenzo. What is it? Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Boise, Idaho. <laughs> what am I doing here? Well, I was headed out of here. <laughs> got the dash AC fixed but then my rooftop air conditioning quit working and my backup air conditioning quit working so you guys saw me go to Home Depot and picked up a new uh, Toshiba slash Mydea 8000 BTU window air conditioner so uh, I've had it hooked up for the last couple days and uh, been doing some tests on it and whatnot and seeing how my four 320 watt solar panels and my six beautiful blue big battleborn batteries i'm gonna get that right big blue beautiful battleborn batteries <laughs> how they hold up to running it uh, as you know my original intention was to build was to put the mini split on the back but i had to have something now uh so I've kind of these clips are kind of back and forth. I think the next one you're going to see is the other morning when I opened it up. So hang on and uh, let's get started. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day, and I am unboxing my Toshiba window air conditioner. I can feel the heat coming, so I got to do something. Roof AC, taking too many amps to run it, my room to room quit working. But before I cut a hole in the wall of Miss Gypsy, I had the perfect opportunity to test out my solar to see how well and efficient this runs. It's a 12 sear, which is really high for a window unit. The mini split I was going to get with the 24 sear. But the watts and the amps were pretty darn close. 300 versus 1,000. And I know it doesn't have heat on here. But uh, heat's not a real big concern of mine. Um, left this door open where I'm at. Gosh, I've been killing flies for hours. Um, this does have Wi-Fi um let me explain my, i can control this unit with my smartphone and i can always see what the temperature is inside my rv with it using my at&t MiFi. so i'm going to run it and see how the the batteries and the solar panels how everything holds up much 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 more efficient than the rooftop ac oh yeah i forgot to tell you my buddy JD, um, this is one of his properties. And since the driveway I've been staying at, I uh, can't use it anymore. I've been staying here. Got great wi got great Wi-Fi. Uh, beautiful grass here for the dogs to play in. So I've been here for a couple days. Uh, it's working out great. JD and his buddy actually came over uh, the other day and uh, gave me a visit. Um, his buddy Sean had built a Ford F-350 limo 
let you see this little, let you see that clip. <laughs> Easy for me to say. I'll let you see that clip now. JD showed up here at the property at Boise, and so did his friend. Anybody ever see one of these before? I've seen them for sale, these custom conversions on like Craigslist, but I've never saw one in person. How about that? A limo F350. I've had four dualies. They were all Fords. It's just not every day you get to see one of these. This is JD's friend that uh, I was staying in his driveway. This is his truck. And so they'll be they'll be up here in Boise for a couple weeks. <laughs> That's so cool. So it's like I don't want to open the door. They've been traveling, so it's probably kind of cluttered up. But there you go. Isn't that neat? Look at those wheels, would you? You gotta love it. You build this yourself? Yeah. Did it all. It's a branch hair uh, emblem. I made them old and, and then uh, made that out of bondo and glued it together in a piece of aluminum. Good deal. What your truck liter. is this? It's an over three. So you got the 7.3 liter? Yeah. You got the good engine? Yeah. I, got, I did the injectors. It has a 95 block with the better rods and single shot injectors. And, yeah. And 30 over nozzles, 160cc intensifier pistons. Runs in an eight um, hydro tuner. Mm hmm. Works good. Runs way better. Better on fuel. I've had better EGTs, better everything. power, better drivability. I have had four 7.3s and they've all been chipped. And uh, my 2001 had a six speed and I couldn't shift, the, I shouldn't, couldn't shift quick enough to keep up with the tuner. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Yeah. That's a pretty truck. Thank you for letting us take a look. So I'm out walking the wolf pack. We run into more cows. <laughs> mm. They're huge. There's a lot of them, man. Get out of here, you old cows. <clears throat> In case you hadn't heard, my name is Tuck Tuck Terrible. I'm the defender and security for the wolf pack. I don't want none of you kissing me in the mouth, licking me in the mouth, or mooing in my general direction. You hear me? Oh, they're so big. Come here, Tut Tut. I think they're scared. Those other cows the other day, they, they must have told them. They must have, Tut. Is that what happened? Y'all staying under this tree today? Stay nice and cool? Help the things. Help the cows. All right. They scared of you, Tuck. Let's go. Don't you forget it. Tuck, Tuck, Terrible was here. Well, that's not my prettiest install I've ever done. And obviously, I can't drive with it like that. But I got electrical right above it. I can sure test it. We'll see how my system here handles powering it. I want to thank JD for my sign here. <laughs> he had one hanging up in his shop and I kind of ooh and odd about it. And he walked out with one. This sign is probably from the 50s. And it was still in its original paper packaging when he gave it to me. Isn't that cool? So I put it in here for now. 
Uh, I don't think it's going to go anywhere else. That's just awesome, right? It's the real deal. That's painted. Well, the fan turned on. It's not very loud at all. I think the compressor just kicked on. I'll get back with you and let you know how it's working. I just have got out of bed. I hadn't made my bed. But my plan is to put it right there. So what I'll do, I'll take this cabinet right here, out, shorten it, and the bottom right here will come straight across here. Of course, I'll have to shorten my door and all that good stuff. And then put it through the back wall. I don't guess that'll look any worse than a, a mini split sitting back there on that back rack. Doing what I got to do. This is my mighty cool little swamp cooler. It's been a lifesaver. I didn't like it at first. I didn't really, hadn't figured out how to use it very well. But, uh, yeah. When you don't have anything, this thing is great. Uh, it doesn't really cool a room, but uh, you're supposed to vent this out to the hottest air possible, but it's got it sitting right there. Uh, when you don't have anything, it's wonderful. But uh, not air conditioning, but it gives you some relief. I paid 300 for it. I've seen them uh, for 240 or 250 now. It is 12 volt. And they say you can run it off your starter battery all night if you need to. But uh, it doesn't, doesn't take very much power at all. And you put water in it or you put ice water in it or ice cubes in it. Wets that filter and blows air across it. 12 volt. Does a good job. <laughs> if the back rack didn't make Miss Gypsy redneckish enough, this surely did. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to be comfortable. I mean, I'm all about looks, but I'm all about comfort first. If you're going to go redneck, go full redneck. Just to go for the full effect, I added some uh, Walmart uh, bags and some blue tape to seal off the top. You know, if we're going to go, let's go all the way. But uh, it's running now. The compressor's on. It's pulling 520 watts on high. The fan's blowing really hard. Uh, I believe the mini split was, I got a look again, but I believe it was 450 watts. So it's 100 more watts to power this. Currently, my solar panels are bringing in 471 watts. Uh, I've got a little shade. But I think it'll get a lot more sunny here in the afternoon. So, so far so good. My batteries are up good. They're about 92%. So I'm going to run this thing all day. Enjoy the air conditioning. See what it does. Get my hat on. So to kind of make a comparison of this running versus the rooftop. The rooftop was running 1650 watts. The room to room air conditioner, a little high sense, a little bitty one, it was pulling 1100 watts. The window unit, low fives. So it's three times more efficient than a rooftop AC. I feel comfortable saying that right, right off the bat. Okay, little update video. It's now um, about 1.30, 1. One o'clock, somewhere you'll see the picture soon. I'll have the time on it, but it's uh, it's after lunchtime, and my RV is very comfortable. I'm sitting almost entirely in the sun now. I'd say it's probably a good 80, 85 degrees outside. Um, here's my batteries.
as you can see I'm gaining ground here um, here's the amount of solar coming in About the best I've ever seen is a thousand watts coming off these three, uh, coming off these four 320 watt panels. So uh, that's okay. And this picture right here shows how many watts the air conditioner is pulling. Still. A third of this up here. All right, I'll keep you posted. Well, I've moved the RV further back to get out of the sun a little bit more. I uh, still have the window unit hanging out the uh, dining room window. Um, it's actually doing really, really well. Uh, I built this platform for the mini split. And I've had heating and air guys all over the country writing to me, telling me the, the good and the bad and the ugly about them. I think it's a good idea, and that was my original intention. But, uh, gosh, this window air conditioner does such a great job cooling my RV. It's only $300. Uh, the... All the heating and air guys told me that the window units are much more, uh, they're, they're better built and they can take the vibrations of the road and dirt roads much, much better than the mini splits. So, change of plan. You know, a, a wise man can change his mind. A fool never does. That's what I've been told. But... The air conditioner is going to go right here. Uh, but it'll be a few few days before I install it permanently. Uh, another great part of putting it here is that if I do have power issues or it's really, really hot, I can just cool the bedroom only. I've got an accordion door that I can close and just cool that bedroom. You, know, you just you just need a place to get out of the heat <laughs> when, it, when it's hot you, you just want to get out of the heat uh, but I can I can cool the whole RV if I need to uh, I can also run it with my little uh, smaller generator if I need to save on fuel so that's the plan so I'm happy with a little air conditioner so I'm gonna put it in I'm gonna go full redneck put it right here and it looks like uh, looks like looks like I got three hundred dollars in a uh, zero gravity chair holder. Looks like we're at the end of another video, but hey, we got to see uh, a limo F three fifty. Got to see some more cows. Got to see how the solar powers this thing. Eh, it's a pretty good video. So yeah, I'm letting this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. If you would, if you like my video, please give me the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And for people that watch uh, on their laptops and computers, there's a little notification bell right down here. If you click it, when I make a video, you'll know right away. Okay, gotta go. Maybe next time you, you're here, this will be in the back. We'll be working on that. You guys take care.
Y'all don't want none of you kissing me in the mouth, licking me in the mouth, or mooing in my general direction. You hear me?